Hello and welcome to the Dan Cave. So in this video uh, I'm going to attempt to repair some badly silvered decals. So this this is the Ravel 144 scale B2 which uh, I built about three and a half years ago. Uh, I was never happy with the, the way the decals went down so when it was finished rather than do anything about it it was shoved to the back of a shelf and left to gather dust. So it's had some of the dust removed uh, and I was thinking about is there any way to go back and fix it. Now this this has been clear coated and a matte coat as well but I think I found a rather simple little way to try and improve the, the, the look of these decals. So uh, let's have a go. So. So this one here has already been fixed and this one and both of these looked pretty similar to this one actually uh, quite, quite large areas of silvering and in fact I think there's you know there's the, there's a number of theories about exactly what silvering is uh, is it bubbles of air trapped under the decals I suppose in some ways it is because from what I've seen on this one in fact, the areas of silvering are, are simply just where the decal is not adhered to the surface and not bedded down into the surface the way it should do. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, going to show how I fixed the ones on this side and uh, try and attempt to fix this one. So hopefully this will be a quite short video. So to do this, the uh, main things you need, a nice sharp blade. It's a Swan Morton scalpel blade, a uh, number 11 blade on a number 3 handle uh, brush, which we'll use to apply some of this uh, UMP strong decal setting solution. Uh, with the UMP setting solutions, I could go on and try the extra strong, but the, the strong seem to have at least a good enough effect that I can move this a little bit forward on the shelf compared to where it was. Uh, some cotton buds come in handy as well. So basically, to start, you're really just looking at you know what area of the decal film is actually affected, uh, and basically trying to gently score along the edge of what would have been the walkway or outline, a little bit of a no step symbol. Although on these decals, it's actually not legible as text. Uh, obviously you want to try and go gently enough so that you don't damage the underlying paintwork too much. Well, it's probably unavoidable. And we just work our way along this one. And what I notice on the other side is even when you cut some of these areas out you can actually see the edge of the deck will just lifts away. Which for me just says it's just lack of adhesion is the main problem. Up here, and of course, this is the worst looking area right here. This entire area, and we'll probably just go down this side, and this bit may actually come off. Uh, let's get the back end of it around the bit which I guess is supposed to represent the text or the lettering for no step, and all the way up to here. The side, step back here to the edge. Again, around the what is probably supposed to be the no step lettering. And here, get the very edge of it. Of course, all of this should really have been dealt with when the kit was originally built. So. And what I can actually see, which is probably not visible on the video, but right about here that entire bit of decal is just lifting off the surface. Which again reinforces my thought that this phenomenon, certainly on this model, the silvering is just a lack of adhesion. And now all that comes back to surface prep, smooth paint finish, and not necessarily a gloss finish. 
uh, just a good paint finish. So, because this is a rather large area, I think I'm just going to run a little score along the bigger areas. Now, when this was originally done, I didn't have UMP decal solutions. It would have been microsol and microset, or microset first then microsol. So, let's get a bit of this decal solution down. So you can kind of immediately see that it's 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 wicking straight underneath the original decal film. But we'll keep uh, we'll keep brushing on some more. That decal is now completely coated in strong decal solution. So, there we go. So that's the That's that decal on the front done. Let's just bring over a little bit more light. Let's have a look at that a bit more closely. So I can see the scoring in it. Uh, I've scored the decal, but hopefully once the solution begins to work I will settle down because I did score the other side and it's barely visible. Just apply a little bit more. So, it be interesting to see if this comes out as well as the other side. I mean, there's still a few areas which I would probably say are slightly silvered, but in comparison, that's uh, a lot better. Probably not acceptable for a lot of modelers, but I think acceptable for this to sit on the back of a shelf. And saves me having to build it again at some point. It's not a particularly good kit. So, just kind of wicking up the most of that. And basically, see, almost all the silvering is gone. There was a little bit of wrinkling happening, but that'll happen with the setting solution anyway. Uh, so, hopefully, once that's dried, that will almost be acceptable. Now, of course, once all of them are done, I could give this another uh, matte coat. But we'll see how it looks and uh, take it from there. But certainly that's a massive improvement compared to what it did look like. So, thanks for watching and uh, enjoy the video.